Oh. 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 Kobe. Ah. Oh, damn it. Oh. Why, well, hello there, YouTube. Salmon Sauce here. And for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this basketball court in Minecraft. It's very simple to make. And if you're trying to make like a nice little town or something, it's it's just a very simple thing that you could add that it's going to make your town look a lot nicer. I don't want to waste any time. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button and let's get started. So over here, I have this little rectangle made out of stone. So what you want to do, this uh, on the long side, it's 29 blocks wide. And over here, it's 21 blocks. So 21 by 29. Once you have that, you want to take this area on the inside of the rectangle. And you also want to make this stone. So once you add the second layer on the inside of the rectangle, you're actually going to add a third layer. Once you have the three layers of rectangle in stone, you're going to add one more layer, but this time out of white concrete. So once you add the white concrete, you want you to know, add more white concrete. And the middle is basically 11 blocks away from this side right here. So 10 blocks on this side, 10 blocks on this side. So you're just going to fill that out with white concrete. And then right in the middle, you're going to want to make a little circle or square, I guess, right over there like that. So then we're going to make the three point line. Let's get this damn sheep out of here. What, what are you doing? Get out of here. You don't belong here. Okay. So what you want to do for the three point line, you're going to do one, two, three, four, fill it in with white concrete, then one, two. And then this is going to go across like this. And you're going to do the same exact thing on this side. One, two, three, four. And then one, two and then just connect that. That's your three point line. Same thing on the other side. So once you have the three point line finished, we could start working on making the paint and the three point line. So then you're going to do one, two, three, four. And this is two blocks in from the three point line. Then one, two, three, four. I don't know why there's so many sheep here. Get out of here. You don't belong on here. You don't know how to ball. And then you're going to go one, two, three, and one, two, three. That's the three point line. And that's the semicircle thing outside of the three point line, whatever the hell that's called. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Once you make that, we actually have to make the paint painted. So you're going to use red terracotta because red concrete's a little bit too bright. And you're just going to fill this area out. Then all this area that's covered in grass right now, we're going to uh, fill that out with gray concrete. So we're going to get rid of all of this and fill it in with gray concrete. So then it should look like this and also make sure to put a gray concrete in the middle of the circle at the middle as well. Then in order to make the basket, we're going to use a polished deep slate wall. And right here, we're going to go one, two, three blocks high on each side. Then we're going to use white concrete and we're going to make a little three by three square. And we're going to put red terracotta in the middle as the uh, square on the backboard. Then to make the basket, we're going to use iron bars and we're going to bring it out by one, two, one, two, and then we connect it in the middle. And that's the basket. 
Then to make the fence around the basketball court, we're going to use a polished black stone wall and go eight blocks high in each of the corners. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you have that, you're just going to connect all of them from the top block. After that, you're going to want to use the iron bars to fill out the rest of it, but make sure you leave an opening for where you want the entrance into the court to be. So right over here, about two blocks from the baseline, I'm going to have this two by three opening, which is going to be the entrance. And then the rest of this entire thing, I'm just going to fill it out with iron bars. So then you should have your complete fence with two separate openings. Then we want to make some benches. So what we're going to do is right in the middle, we're going to use these three blocks as a measurement. And we're going to use spruce wood stairs like this. And then spruce wood slab, spruce wood slab. And then another upside down spruce wood stair. And it's going to look like that. And we're going to make four of them. So then we have the benches. Now, there is one other thing, and that is, you know, some people like to play basketball at night outside. So what do you have to do? I, I like to put end rods here on the floor. So right along where the half court line is between the benches, we're going to put end rods there. And then just outside of the paint, two blocks out from the basket, we're going to put end rods over there behind the basket and that definitely helps light things up down on the floor and then we're gonna have the four lights hanging above the court and it's going to be aligned with this with the arc that's outside of the free throw line so we're gonna measure it from that and then go up by one two and three so after we go up by three blocks with the polished black stone wall, we're going to take a redstone lamp and we're going to do three like that and then another three next to that. And of course, we're going to put the daylight sensors on and then we're going to change them to be a nighttime sensor. That way they turn on at night. And then the final touch is we're going to take a dark oak trap door and we're going to surround the sides with the oak, dark oak trapdoor. And we're going to leave this front part and the bottom part open so that the light looks like it's coming down towards the basketball court. So then once you put all four of the overhead lights on, the basketball court really comes to life at night and it looks absolutely beautiful. And that's pretty much it. That's how you make the basketball court. Again, you guys are welcome to change whatever you want. You can make it much bigger and have multiple basketball courts next to each other if you want. You can get it as creative as you want with this. And if you have any ideas, feel free to put it down in the comment section on what you did to make it look better for your build. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell because I have a lot more videos like this coming out to teach you guys how to build better. And I'm also going to be showing you guys a lot of other things that I've made in my Minecraft world as well as building a lot of other new things. And I have a huge project that I'm going to be showing you guys in a couple months. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But most importantly, make sure that you all have a splendid day.